Okay, hey, what? Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I had a whole video for you guys on how I did my bark sprays. Um, and I was having roofing done on my house and I had to keep coming back and you know, and then stopping because I didn't want um, for y'all to like hear them over me. So I come back, I download all my videos, I'm starting to edit and I'm like, hold on, hold on. Where is the main part of the video? Like actually on how to do it. Like I showed you how to part it and everything. What I do. The products that I put in. Everything. And I couldn't even find the main part. So I was like. I was over it. So I had you know a little couple hours of, of venting. And was like okay. How am I going to. I have this footage. Um, what am I going to do with it. And I'm missing the main part. So. Week later. Um, week later. Two weeks later, two weeks, yeah, this is two weeks. Two weeks later, I have like new growth, so I'm about to redo these, the front, maybe two rows, probably, I'm just going to show y'all one row, but I'm going to undo these and I'm going to show y'all um, exactly how I do the braiding, um, but I'm going to put that in like the, the right part of the video. So, stay with me. I went on a little, you know one-on-one -on -one time with you guys on how I felt about you know social media about marketing about friends because I'm doing a lot of business adventures and I just social media is a lot and everything right now if you want to grow if you want to grow a brand especially so I just started to talk about that in the video while I was doing everything so y'all get you know some tea and then y'all get some lessons so that's what I'm gonna show but y'all stay tuned um, and make sure you like, subscribe, and share my channel. Comment and everything. You know I love it. You know I love it. Um, and let's get to the video. Um, so what I have for my box sprays first. Well, first, first hand, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I need you to go follow me on Instagram. Like and comment my pages. Um, this week, I'm going to do a giveaway so I definitely want everyone to participate in that and you see boom microphone so I'm serious um but yeah go ahead and do that for me and then we'll get started so I have my rat tooth comb boop um my silk elements can you see let's see don't look at my nails because I popped them off um silk elements edge control I got my jam, um, leave-in conditioner, definitely for moisture, and then, ooh, this looks ghetto. My Black Magic Shea Butter. I always gotta use the grease. Um, and I got all of my hair products and my hair. I'm using Featress three times. I'll show y'all that. My packs are all everywhere, but hold on. So, I'm using this. I got the three pack. So, your girl didn't know that I got 28 inches. So, I'm really about to be like flowing in your face for real, for real. But that works because my hair is already like, it, it's a good length, you know. So, we have all that. I have my tray over here. Let me turn on my light and see if that even changes anything. Does it? Nope, not really, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, so first I part in the middle. So I do have a mirror behind y'all. So I'm going to be like looking just to make sure that I'm doing everything correct. Made you mine, but I'm crazy. You would 
always shine bright when it's rainy Now lately you was always tripping off something Always coming late to the function I know your mama hate me but fuck em. I know they never accept it but fuck em. Tell me are you Okay, so got the part in the middle. Check it out in a minute. But I'm definitely gonna part here and get this section. Part here, get this section so the back can look real natural. And then up here, I'm fine with like the the strategic box like line look. So today is Monday, um, Thanksgiving week, and I'm so thankful. How does that look? Pretty good. Like, I'm not trying to have perfect, perfect. Granted, because it's just my hair. So, I'm fine with not being perfect, perfect. And my box braids, I'll usually sometimes leave them in longer than needed. Just because I like that natural, um, that natural, you know, bohemian look. That like I just got off the boat and I came to America. Got off the Jamaica boat. I got the got off the Cape Verdean boat. I hit you on a text, you ain't hit me back. Tell me what's next, I'm gonna deal with that. I'm still thinking about you still on my Who was my first love? Because I literally had like an order on how I wanted to talk to you to get yourself right. Um and so the reason why was I wanted to give a background low key about me. Um, I am from Boston, clearly. Um, I've been in Houston for a while. Um, yo, my face is like just, I don't even know what's going on. Like, it's just, it's ugly right now. How am I? Tell me if you do, even if it's lies. That's why I'm loving you, baby. I take you to the moon. Okay, so hey you guys, I wanted to talk to y'all about, you know, of course the social media, the friends, the support, everything um, that goes on with just branding yourself and trying to elevate yourself mentally, even if you're not branding yourself, just trying to, not even trying, let's take out the word trying, motivating yourself and getting you mentally prepared and mentally right for what God has in store for you. So one of the main things I do say and I do do myself, is I just had to really get rid of all the toxic people that weren't in my life, that weren't motivating to me, that you, you know how you clearly see that they're just not good for you, but you, it's like you don't want to be alone, so you just keep them around, and you try to look at the good instead of the bad, and not realizing that the bad is just like, it's not, it's not elevating you. You're not going to get anywhere with having them around and what they bring to the table, you could bring to yourself and the table that you bought. So you really don't need them, you know? So I definitely say that's the number one thing. Get rid of the people that are around you so you're able to finally be clear about everything that you want, everything that, um, all the messages that God sends you, you're able to see them and receive them. Um, and then two, I, second thing 
I do, and I would obviously suggest for mentally, is just start reading. And if you don't have time to read, um, you know, you can always get the Audible and use that for a way to be able to listen and just get that positive energy around you. There's nothing like, you know, driving in the car. You don't always have to listen to music. You can listen to a book and it'll just reach you and just have your creative juices flowing. It'll just change your whole mood because you have, you're hearing those positive vibrations. You're bringing it to, you know, your energy, your mind, your subconscious mind, like you're giving it to you and you're able to just, you know, change with everything. So I definitely suggest doing that. Now, if you're like branding yourself and you want to just grow, one thing that I've realized is you definitely have to be yourself. Like, it's okay if you like something and people, other people don't like it. That is fine. There is a billion, trillion people in this world. There is going to be somebody that likes it. And if they don't like it, who cares? You like it. And that's all that matters. You know, it took me a lot to get to that point to just say, you know what, I, I like this. I like doing this activity. I like this shirt. I like, you know, having my personal time. I don't like this. And and being okay with that. Like, nobody should be able to judge you depending on how you like or what you like, you know. And that shouldn't discourage you from anything. And it's okay that if not everybody likes you or likes what you're interested in and just growing as a person you just start to realize like your peace and your happiness is the main focus like that is so important for you to have your foundation to know that you can stand alone and you are going to be okay like I always tell the people um, that I just I interact with daily or just my friends, they know that they can call me and they can get a word. They can get some motivation from me, honey. Call me, message me anything. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to uplift you. I'm going to tell you that you are able to accomplish anything. I promise it. You know, so I definitely just would get positive. I say positive vibrations because everything is positive. Everything is a vibration, negative or positive. But just get those positive vibrations around from you so you can mentally be clear, spiritually be clear, physically be clear, and you're able to achieve your goals. There's nothing more important than achieving your goals and being able to hear what God wants you to do and not having anything toxic ruining it. Do you hear me? You on like the social media stuff. So... I had a big following, not, no, big following, um, about like 6,000 followers, so to speak, which was a lot for me, but it just wasn't getting the engagement that I wanted. So I look at all these YouTube videos and it, everything is really clickbait. Um, you know, I'm going to make you feel like I can bring you to that level of, um, you know, success and fame and, be the influencer and all that I did it so you can do it not really realizing like I've watched so many videos um because just because I like to research and see like okay is there something you know missing because also you have a lot of influencers that will say hey I want to teach you ready hi I want to teach you how to you know gain a hundred thousand followers and I, I can show you the algorithm of social media of Facebook of you know Instagram and all that and I can bring you to the level that I'm on all you have to do is pay a hundred dollars or 150 in this and it's like I realize that all they're doing is telling you what's on YouTube and they're making an e-course out of it and they're charging you for it um, making it easier for you so basically you're paying for the convenience you're paying well yeah you're paying for the convenience because now you don't have to watch all these videos even though they all say the same thing I promise you they all say the same thing to the far as the consistency part consistency is key yes also it could take you a year five years seven years to get to that level that you want to get to it's going to take you a while why because if you're doing it by yourself and you have nobody to, yeah, you have supporters, but you don't have anybody that's inside the game, you're not going to get where you want to be. You're just, you're not. And so, but they, they deliver, they, 
deliver to you on a platter that, hey, you can be successful. Yeah, anybody can be successful. Tell me something different. You know what I mean? Anybody can be successful. Obviously, consistency is key. Um, I have to be consistent with the work that I'm doing. I have to be consistent with how much I'm posting. If I'm interacting with anybody, I get that. I know that. I understand that. Duh. You know, and tell me something different. Like the algorithm will change. You're not Instagram. So you can t you could tell me this, that I need to do this on Monday. And then on Friday, Instagram changes it. And boom, I just paid you $100 to tell me an old, old algorithm and not a new one. You know, and I realized that that's what goes on a lot with the influencers. Because I see that there's a wave. Like, I've seen that a lot of influencers, I'm not going to say any names, but I've seen that a lot of influencers that I watch, they all hang out with each other. And they all have um, been in the game. Like, it's like Stephon Curry's wife. She was able to build the Instagram and build YouTube and get a channel because she's who she is. You know? She's his wife. That's why she was able to build. I want to see somebody that's literally zero, no support, nothing, and grow. And tell me what you what you did. Um, and of course, it's the consistency. It's the research. It's, um, you know, reaching out to people. And you're going to get a bunch of no's before you get a yes. We get that part. So that there's no, I realize there's no special way to get to that point because like all these influencers that hang out with each other and if I have a hundred K and I post you on my stuff and we and you know you you have five or six and you're you're you know popping up on mine they're gonna say oh that's one of our friends let me see if she knows something and they're gonna follow you so that becomes a weight so that's how you got hyped you know what I mean that's how you got up there you didn't get up there because oh you just started posting videos and um you know you didn't know anybody and you literally started from the ground bottom because I see a lot of influence will influencers will um do that will say yeah I just started doing YouTube videos and They'll do the makeup and the get ready with me, um, granted like I am. <laughs> um, they'll do all those, um, or, you know, the, the fashion stuff. They'll do all those and, you know, their following gets, gets up. Um, but it's because of who you hang around. It's because of who you know. I want to see someone that literally had nobody and how, like, what did you do? And I get the consistency part. You have to basically keep doing videos until you get that one boom factor. Until you get that one boom video or that one boom post where people are like, oh my goodness, and they want to, hello, can we not not up? And they want to share it. You just have to wait for that moment. So that's where the consistency is. There's no specialty to this game. There's no tricks. There's no... Because you could keep doing what this person's doing, but until you get that pop-in video or that pop-in post um, or anything, you're you're just gonna keep you're gonna keep trying. You're gonna keep trying. So that was hello, hello, not boom. You're just gonna have to keep trying. And so I've done all the research on that, and it just got to the point of boom. That braid was too much. I had to twist it over. Um, yeah, I got to the point where that's what I kept doing. And I, it just was like, okay, I need to take a break. I need to get myself together. So then when I got back on, it was like, okay, I want to um, I want to get to that point. I want to just waste my time. And I tried to post and go, but no, it was like, I don't want to just post and go. I want to interact. I want to engage. And so, clearly we're on the social media stuff, the personal stuff, I just left over there. But eventually I'll get back to it because I have like a format on how I want to talk to y'all, but I'm just going to keep rambling my mouth and keep going. Um, and this, I may, look, I may post this, I may not, who knows, I don't care. I realize that I just have to not care about stuff and you really have to not care about whatever you put out there. Put it out there because you want to put it out there. Someone's going to judge always. Cardi B still getting judged. Someone's always going to judge you regardless or do what you want to do. And I'm still in the process of finding certain things that I love and that I want to do 
um, you know, and then admitting certain flaws of myself that I need, that I'm going to continue to fix and continue to do. But social media, like when I started to do more research and the whole imposter syndrome and trying to get up there and all that, it's like, you just have to keep pushing out stuff until you get that one, that one good, um, no idea who this is, one, um, post or one picture. And, you know, even now, like I'll, I'll, you know, repost someone's picture or repost someone something and they'll like, oh, thank you. And kind of treat me like I'm a fan. And it's like, boo, I'm not a fan. I'm a supporter, but I'm also trying to do what you, you, you're you doing. So let's, you know, let's support each other so we both can grow. It really is a crab in the bucket type of situation. I'm so proud of myself, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. And it's not as long as I thought it was going to be, which is fine. Um, but yeah, like a crab in the bucket mentality, I really see how the social media is because even, even the big people, like you're not paying me. You know what I mean? Like if I get popping, I get up there, you're not paying me. The companies are paying me. So why not try to just show everybody love, try to get, you know, especially black women, let's try to get up there to where we can just run some stuff. Um, but it's a crab in a bucket type of mentality. Like like the whole niche thing, like, okay, are you good at fashion? Are you good at um, beauty? Like, are you good at this? Are you good at that? And you know what I'm good at? I'm good at everything. There's some stuff that, you know, is a 10 and there's some stuff that's a five with me. Um, but, you know, boom, I can do hair. Not an expert, but I can do it. Makeup, <laughs> don't even try it. Clothes, yep, I'm getting better. Fitness, I can tell you anything. Um, how to find stuff, how to research. I'm the FBI friend. Do you hear me? I'm the FBI friend. That's who I am. Um, but I want to share that with people. So I just had to find a way. But, you know... Social media, you can't allow it to discourage you because it, it discouraged me for a while to where I was like, okay, I need to take a break. I need to take a break from it. Um, but boom, back to the friends. Um, okay, so I finished the back. I, my hair's really thick, so I, I parted it this way for a reason. But we made it, y'all. Hey you guys, so in the beginning of the video I did let you guys know that I lost the footage of when I originally did the front of my braids. So here I just wanted to give you an example of how I do them by retouching up my edges. Um, I did have these in for about three weeks because my hair does grow fast so it was about that time to touch these edges up honey. I couldn't just be walking around like anybody. So I did about eight in the front. They are about maybe medium to large sizes. Um, I didn't want to have little tiny ones since I do have a lot of hair, so I was not trying to be here all day. So here I'm just taking out all of my braids in the front so I can show you guys how I touch them up. So here I have everything out. You can see that I have all of the, I'm keeping all the parts and I'm just going to brush it out, refresh it and everything. So I take about a small strand of the hair. I make sure I have everything laid out so as I'm braiding, I don't get my hair twisted up or anything. So how you start, you start to braid. And if you do not know how to braid, I advise you to go watch a video on how to braid and then come back to this video because it'll be kind of confusing. So once I braid a little bit here and I have, I like to call it an M with all of my hair, I take the braided hair and then I add it to a part of the M. So I like to say that I have an M and then I put an N on top of the M in one of the parts and then I just start braiding as if I was before. So I'm going to show you guys this again just so y'all will get a better understanding of how I add the hair. But the best way for me is I have like the letter M. 
this is the English in me. I have the letter M and then I put an N on top of the N to match it and then I just start braiding. So as I go down, I braid a little bit and just to make sure the length is even all around my head, I do the same thing over again. So we have the M with all the fingers and then we just add the hair over one of the fingers, so the M over the N and then we just start braiding down. The finishing results. Um, I did pretty good. For the first time doing it, like I did, I did pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself. Goes all the way down here. I need to finish braiding some because I didn't realize it was this long. Um, but I did, I feel like I did pretty good. Um, so that's the finished product. But before I let y'all go, I just wanted to thank you for watching my channel, for um, just coming back. I have like six videos on and just the fact that I hit 100 views, I was excited about. Um, then my subscribers are going up. I'm not to 100 yet, but we're pushing. We're going to manifest it. We're going to write it out. We're going to get it going. Um, so I just really appreciate that. And I just want y'all to know like, reach out to me on my Instagram, reach out to me here, anywhere if anybody needs to talk, um, you need some advice, you need just some motivation because I am that person. Like, and I'm probably gonna do some vlogs maybe just to show y'all a teacher lifestyle and a mom lifestyle and someone who's everywhere. So, all right, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one.